Welcome to this channel guys from wherever you are watching uh, When I'm doing this video here now, it's almost some minutes past the midnight And we are burning the midnight oil and I have been really been trying to follow up on this story about William Ruto's mission in Dubai but just moments before I actually did analysis started that this analysis my initial plan was to do analysis on William Ruto's mission and just speculative analysis on what he can be doing there but I think something just struck my mind and this is after I read a post by Moses Kuria because this evening the 4th of February Moses Kuria and Kip and Oscar Sudi shared some photos in their respective Facebook pages telling us where exactly William Ruto was so I want to read for you a Facebook post by Moses Kuria remember Moses Kuria is in Dubai where he is actually getting medical attention after in, after suffering burns uh, I think it was earlier uh, late December or it was early December so Moses Kuri has been in Dubai I think for now two months William Ruto visited him in the hospital and deliberately Oscar Sudi and Moses Kuria shared those photos so I want to share with you the, uh, the post by Moses Kuria because this is what Moses Kuria posted today and said Today I was visited by His Excellency Deputy President William Ruto and Capsaret MP Oscar Sudi in Dubai. I updated them on my recovery progress and formally invited them to join me and all Kenyans during the Friday 19th Thanksgiving prayer in Theka. That is what Oscar Sudi posted and then he shared uh, that is what Moses Kuria posted and shared these photos. Also, Oscar Sudi also shared the same photos. So, first, the first intention of this, William Ruto was using these two lawmakers to tell the country where he was. Two, he was also trying to frame a very good speculation on what he was doing in Dubai. And I will see, you will see people now trying to think that, of course, William Ruto flew to Dubai to convince Moses Kuria to join the UDA party. In this channel, I want to disagree a bit with that information, that, with, with that speculation that perhaps that's why he traveled there. But before we look deep into his real mission, in Dubai if you're watching this video for the first time and you've not yet subscribed take a second and subscribe then more importantly also click the notification bell when we drop a video you will be notified more importantly also let's talk at the comment section William Ruto was in the country on Saturday on Sunday Saturday he was in Kirinyaga then Sunday he was in Nairobi doing some rallies, I think, around um, Kikuyu and Limuru areas. Then on Monday he went missing, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now today, Friday. The photos that were shared by Moses Kuria, he visited Moses Kuria just today, the Thursday. So that tells you that, one, that is not the main reason why he actually went to Dubai. Secondly, I also combed through social media pages of around people around him, and I realized that another person who was in Dubai with William Ruto is Charlene Ruto, who is the daughter. In fact, the person who took those photos is Charlene Ruto. If you look at the Twitter page of Charlene Ruto, you will see she posted the same photo sending Moses Kuria quick recovery. That is the screenshot here. So I want to believe that first, the, the other person who attended was Charlene Ruto, who is William Ruto's daughter. So first, there is a politician and a family representative. 
Before we look at the main agenda, one thing that might have taken William Ruta there, and I want you to question the presence of Oscar Sudi. I have a friend who have worked for Oscar Sudi who told me that Oscar Sudi is a very trustable politician to William Ruto and is someone who really takes instructions. So I want to believe that first, William Ruto is going there with Oscar, he went there with Oscar Sudi. We are not yet sure whether there are some other leaders who are still part of that team and that we have not been shown, but we've seen Oscar Sudi. Oscar Sudi is someone who was Actually, he was interacting with William Ruto's foreign friends. When the guy from Turkey was in Kenya and when he was being deported, the person who was running the errands was Oscar Sudi. So there is also that speculation that perhaps maybe William Ruto was meeting his campaign financiers in Dubai. That is there. Secondly, I also think that he can also be there to do diaspora campaigns. IBC have enlisted 18 polling stations, and my friend from Kuwait, you're not in that list. <laughs> Apart from the East African counties, countries, the other country that is also, the other countries that are also going to do registration is UK, Germany, Canada, US, United Arab Emirates, where Dubai is. Dubai is one of the states in United Arab Emirates. So he's also there maybe to do those diaspora campaigns. However, in my own analysis, and I've been doing my own research, if there is something that is normally a silent thorn on William Ruto's presidential bid in 2022, is the ICC. William Ruto flew to Dubai to try to assess the issue of the ICC cases. Now, this is something that he doesn't really want to get to the public because it is normally very emotive and you don't know how he's going to be judged on it. On 15th February, Paul Gisheru, who was William Ruto's lawyer and prosecutor, it was actually William Ruto's lawyer, was incriminated by who was incriminated by the Hague for witness interference and bribery over William Ruto's cases. You remember the cases that were evacuated in 2014. The case against Paul Gisheru is starting in the next 10 days. That is 15th February. Now wait, look 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 here guys. If Paul Gisheru is joined is jailed because he's being charged, the charge sheet of Paul Gisheru is that he interfered with William Ruto's case. And he tries to make the link directly. If he is jailed, the next person is William Samuel Ruto. And if you ask me, one of the reasons why also the mission in Dubai was kept secret is because it was tied to ICC. I can tell you here, William Ruto's boss is President Uhuru Kenyatta. Before William Ruto leaves the country, the person who is going to sign his leave out is his boss Uhuru Kenyatta. That is the only person, not even head of public service. So Uhuru knew why William Ruto was going to Dubai. And I feel that his mission there is to try to maybe meet some lawyers or emissaries to try to look on the progress of that case and whether the ICC case can be, can stop him from vying or can affect his presidential bid. That is something that many people will not capture it. But if you try to look at the way these things are going on, that is one of the reasons is there. And I expect that when he comes back, now um, when he comes back, you will hear a narrative that can be he cannot talk about ICC, but his food, his food soldiers like Oscar Sudi will now start talking about the way the deep state is trying to hatch plans to block William Ruto from vying because of ICC. Expect that from Oscar Sudi and his other people, these other leaders. So I believe that is one of the reasons why William Ruto was going there. Now, someone might be asking, 
How about the Moses courier? Guys, this is the truth. If Ruta flew to Dubai on Monday or on Saturday, on, on Sunday night, do you want to tell me that he's been talking to Moses Kuria for the last three days? He just visited Moses Kuria today. And secondly, if he needs Moses Kuria to join Uda, then meeting with Uda needs a visibility. He can gain the political visibility. But as of this, when I was doing this video, William Ruto had not shared photos of him with Moses Kuria in his Facebook page. If it was a political meeting, a political mission for him to work, maybe talk to Moses Kuria, you would have seen a very long post with bottom-up model and uh, post on inclusivity, objectivity and inclusivity in his Facebook page. But because it was not merely political, I think he's not there because of Moses Korea. Secondly, if also he was majorly for this meeting the foreign financiers, the deep state would have already had leaked that information out. Of course, it was leaked out, but they would have made it very clear that he's getting other people from out of the country to interfere with the election. That's, that's the narrative that would have done. Because the foreigners that are chased, you remember the guy from Tech was chased? He was chased because he was, uh, he was close to William Ruto. And they ran a narrative that, of course, he's coming to interfere with the elections. You remember something like that. So if it was something on meeting those people and the, 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 the state knew, the state would have run that narrative against William Ruto. Secondly, the issue of the medical grounds, I don't think they would have made it public. And again, we will see, I don't think you would have seen um, Oscar Sudi in that meeting, or Oscar Sudi to be part of his team. We are not sure who else is there, but I don't think if it was medical, we would have seen Oscar Sudi. So do you think William Ruto needs Moses Kuria in his, in his party? Yes, maybe if he comes and gives him the running mate position. Maybe he comes and find, find something. But to know the presence, the people who chased Moses Kuria from UDA was not William Ruto. William Ruto only said he doesn't want to get small parties. But the people who chased Moses Kuria was Kimani Chungwa and Igari Geshagwa. And coming back, if Moses Kuria comes back to Uda, there are going to be voices of dissent in UDA. And all those are things that William Ruto do not really want to see as we get towards general election. So guys, uh, that's my analysis on why William Ruto is in Dubai. Secretly, it is to try to assess on whether the ICC cases can affect his presidential bid.